Hello guys, today with you, Dr. Ross is going to be start the next topic. Today we have the topic, cervical screening of a corpuscopy uh, by the National Health Society. They updated in 2020. So my request the same. If you like and you have benefit, so go to subscribe my channel and like. So uh, we will go to be the, this our new topic, cervical screening, colposcopy, uh, NHS. Uh, uh, they make updated in the 2020. So first of all, introduction, the aim to be NHS cervical screening program to introduce the incidence and the mortality of the cervical cancer through to the asymptomatic quality as a assorted population based of the screening program. The, the people who age 24 and uh, 0.5 uh, to 64, this is the age recommendation, okay? So have been, uh, will, uh, who have a cervic, cervical uh, program will go to the, uh, to be, uh, to be go is uh, this, uh, uh, the new screening program will going to be the age according 24.5 to 64 uh, will go assessment of the cervical uh, cervix so this is updated from to the 2018 to 2019 uh, approximately 3.4 million individual were going to be screened in the england and the niche uh, this uh, the uk national screening program has been recommended uh, the three um, the extension of a screening individual from three year to five year for individual the age 24.5 uh, to four, uh, 49 who the test with the HR HPV negative is a part of their routine screening test. So this is uh, the clinical professional group of a colposcopic, colposcopic uh, like a CPG. Uh, the groups they developed this is that the guidance based of evidence uh, were available uh, or a recommendation the best practice. So colposcopy uh, CPG has been established to providing the professional clinical advice to the NHS servicing cervical program uh, to uh, to the member of a leading the professional of in uh, colposcopy so what we have the primary screening program the primary human uh, papilloma the virus uh, screening the been demonstrated within the randomized control trial reporting from 2009 9 14 and the 19 so more sensitive than the cytological detection of the pre-invasive disease of a cervix so here they said to be the improvement of the sensitivity leading to our education of incidence of both adenocarcinoma and the esquimo, uh, esquimo, um, esquimo sarcoma, sar, uh, sarcomas of a cervix comparing to the cytology screening alone. So this uh, improved by the sensitivity of the, the high risk of the HPV. HR, HPV are testing and the high negative productive values to the ebbling longer screening interval uh, for individuals with a normal that is result and the optimum uh, the primary screening test for the vaccinated individual. So here we have a lower specificity of HR HPV testing. So requiring as a reflex of the triage of the trace and ensure that the colposcopical clinical are not overburdened within the unnecessary referral and individual are uh, not to be uh, for is for uh, for uh, her is inconvenient. So the national program primary HPV screening with a uh, tri uh, by cytological result now the operating followed by the evidence from the English primary and the implication the pilot by reporting are a new pathway uh, the found into the the flow chart and uh, that will be accompanying of uh, to the guide for. Uh, that so this is the we have chart for cervical screening protocol but then we'll, uh, later we will go to this and uh, so further future they said to be development of the cervical screening interval followed by the implication of a primary hpv screening so the cytological reporting first of all the routine screening in trouble we have nhs uh, csp the same that for uh, the first uh, in uh, invention for a cervical screening when the individual reaching the 24.5 of age it means the 24 half the age and uh, the individual who's uh, recall every three year until the turn 50 so recall interval the change to every five year 
okay every five year the regard the interval going to be changed so this is the base of the evidence and audit of the screening uh, the histories in the UK and interval can be found in the program call and the recall guidance and the individual refer to the, the colposcopy uh, within as a HP um, HR HPV positive cytology negative result either as a screening sample or a, um, a taste of a, uh, the cure sample followed by the treatment of the cervical intraepithelial neoplasm so individual with a adequate colposcopic examination who uh, who have a negative on a cul uh, colposcopic uh, uh, the opinion or the biopsy are a discharge to record okay the patient individual colposcopic examination who's a negative came to be negative so colposcopic opinion or the biopsy discharge to be recalled so data of uh, the next recall should be three years after the they uh, and they are and the referral of a screening result this is based on the the both one the colposcopic second one is a biopsic uh, discharge so colposcopic clinic is a responsible for the notifying the call the free call services and due to the day the date of the next screening so here we have this uh, the table is going to be the give us more knowledge about the cervical screening pro program so if uh, we will go to patient HP, uh, hr hpv testing uh, the baseline investigation if the it will uh, came to negative so routine recall we have to be called according to the age of the patient routine recall if the patient uh, hr hpv the came positive so we will go the two scenario one is the uh, cytologic and normal second is the cytologic came uh, negative if negative we have to be called recall after 12 month if a uh, recall will be go, uh, after 12 month then we assess again to be and uh, the hr hpv uh, the positive or negative if came negative we have to be routine recall if came positive we will go to further detail like uh, positive hpv program if the patient come to be the H, uh, hr hpv positive so what we have to be next step we have to be next step the cytological abnormality and the colposcopic referral okay the same after recall the patient came hpv uh, hr hpv positive so we will go cytological abnormal abnormal and then again we will go uh, uh, colposcopic referral so if the cam uh, uh, after recall 12 month and uh, the patient is mean this is the second call after one first 12 12 hour and the second 12 hour. this we have the duration two year so this will be hphr uh, hr hpv the positive cytology and the negative so um the unadequate and uh, the abnormal will go again the colposcopy so this is the routine is going to be as the patient age and uh, the routine recall and the examination the investigation cytology pathological condition so now we have the age eight the screening will start so individually the invited for a first screening at the age of the 24.5 individual undergo age is the same terms and uh, concern like about their sexual health especially that are uh, worried about their risk of uh, developing cervical cancer and they should be contact with the, the gp and their local like uh, genitourinary medicine clinics uh, the clinics so here um, we have the age, especially we are um, with the age of the management of algorithm of a management of individual under the age 25. Because 20, uh, 25 year age, who's, uh, uh, the symptom of a cervical cancer is going to be suffer. So we will we will follow according to uh, this is NHS uh, the table we have to be follow uh, for this table according to this one we have to be patient management and uh, going to be uh, to be the um, the uh, um, recall uh, for every visit so first we have the trick is um uh, first we have the we will go the postquartal bleeding patient with came with the postquartal bleeding and the patient with the intermittent bleeding so here the screening um uh, they say to be at the last menstrual period. This is uh, the patient whose age under the 24 
and the patient is going to be as examination of uh, uh, and with symptoms so the age is going to be give us many uh, the knowledge about uh, the the patient is going to be symptom like the patient is coming to you post vital bleeding and age is 25 we are dealing with the patient is age 25 so the history including the sexual and uh, contraceptive and the history we have to be take a speculum examination and then we will go to be the clinical suspicious of cervical cancer we will go to fast track of the colposcopy if the patient with a cervical pathology are not to the the suggestive that the cancer like a polyps and uh, uh, eruption of the cervical wards are uh, the referral of a uh, gynecological like a uh, a patient suffering is a local uh, local like uh, genital uh, issues so we have to be referred refer is a uh, um, uh, According to patient, we have the gynecological issue or the uh, uh, gyneco urologic issue. We have to be referred to there. If the patient is a normal cervix, but uh, the swab of uh, STI or uh, the refer, we have to be the patient referred to the as a gyno uh, medicine for further investigation for STI. So treatment infection for a found and the persisting uh, the symptom uh, symptoms more than six to eight weeks uh, will go again to referral as uh, the GU clinics okay if the patient with you uh, with uh, with you and age is 25 this is um, the very early age when the patient is coming and we are suspected uh, that with the symptoms we uh, found uh, to be near to the cervical cancer so if the patient is coming to you uh, the intermenstrual bleeding intermenstrual bleeding and including the sexual and uh, the contraceptive history and LMP we have to be ruled out if the, um, the speculum examination is a uh, normal okay uh, we don't have to be worried, but if this, uh, the patient suspected uh, uh, or uh, the contraceptive and uh, the pro uh, the problems like uh, she is is, uh, is going to be the uh, the uh, taking to the contraception are the problematic uh, the bleeding the patient will go uh, to be the further assessment medication like persist the bleeding six to eight week the patient will go for a speculum examination then will patient we will if the sort of cervix is uh, uh, the normal okay we will go to as the STI and the, like uh, the further investigation and then if the speculum examination is came to be the uh, cervical pathological or not suggested to the um, the not suggested to the cancer or the polyps or the eruption then we will go the gynecological clinic referral this is the the age of the 24 is going to be uh, the main age according to this table so then we have the age if uh, the age is finishing screening especially the routine screening aimed with the individual who's attending the screening or uh, the after 60 year the meet to be criteria and the autonomic and C's this is uh, the because of their next routine test should be due after the 60 uh, 65 birthday so here the guidance available the C's of the uh, differing the individual and in form of the cervical screening so follow to the more primary HPV uh, screening and the UK NSC uh, recommendation recommended that uh, implementation of a two survival lens that is at a uh, 12 month interval for individuals who are in the remaining like uh, HR HPV positive or cytology is came to negative so this is the even will go to 12 month interval again investigated okay the people age the 65 over the who had uh, the previous abnormality including uh, though with uh, the HR HPV positive resulting and the absence of the abnormal cytology so here also remaining the recall until uh, have the complete follow-up test this is a very important to follow up and um, they do not to be the seize of automatically the due of age while the remaining eligibility of a non-routine screening so here the scheduled screening uh, scheduled screening mean unscheduled Ah, uh, sorry. Unscheduled screening mean unscheduled cervical screening does not a part of the cervical screening, but this is a providing as individual and the under undergo is screening within the recommended interval. Are uh, the depending their age I mean uh, that is uh, even the related with the age and uh, complain with the screen for individual cervical symptoms where will will be going to be persist vaginal discharge, vaginal bleeding, or other of any unexplained uh, infection you find 
mind and the will we have to be good as a refer as a time be manner to investigate to further so here the uh, uh, services is offering the NH services is training that uh, the mainly is assess is a primary screening and that uh, can be assessing is a local uh, community commissioner and the uh, contraceptive and uh, the sexual health uh, extension of uh, services of the genital urinary medicine clinics limiting of the circumstances and the corposcopic uh, 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 like uh, the uh, gynecologist do are the are going to be deal as uh, the the concerning your uh, uh, the the basis of your country so screening test has been the outside nhs screening program so here and non nhs uh, the testing including those are the privately or overseas are the charity is working to be services is going to be they even go to be for this uh, okay then i will go to be uh, okay um, here they say to be the withdraw and the seize of uh, colposcopy. This is all for withdraw screening and this is the all uh, uh, for uh, they describe about uh, the uh, screening program. So now we have a summary to be standard to be understand between the age 24. 0.5 to 49 here the individual offer for a cervical screening every three years the between the age 50 and to 64 individual offer cervical screening for every five years this is the most important the point of view for question point of view also so management referral colposcopic recommendation guide for a colposcopy the cancer waiting for a national uh, the policies so this is we have uh, one uh, the table for the colposcopic examination so i will come to here the later but we will read some uh, uh some point the referral time is a colposcopic and the governor improving outcome strategies the cancer and the 18 week of a pathway okay the screening should be a warranted refer colposcopy and the uh, relative pathway of the giving to below the blue envision the high grade uh this current uh this uh, uh creosis are the moderate are the severe dyscreosis according to the the high grading okay the here the glandular nucleus are borderline changing and the cervical the call refer is a two week uh, wait of a pathway or this will they said at least 93 percent people is a refer resulting the offer to colposcopic within the two weeks this is a very important point of view to be to be remembered 93 percent people is a refer with a resulting to be the offer colposcopic within the two weeks so those are found is not cancer colposcopic examination at least a first visit like transfer 18 uh, week 18 weeks is very important pathway to remember a reminder and their care about uh, the patient so the low grade dyscreosis the borderline changing squamous cell carcinoma that will be persist in the hr hpv uh, positive cytology or the negative the persist the unadequate uh, sampling if the referral with the line with the 18 weeks pathway program if unadequate the sample available then even the 18 18 week pathway or the program is standard so here the 99 percent that the individual must be offered by for a colposcopic appointment with the six week of the referral if the patient is going to be the low dyscreosis borderline change squamous cell persisting with the hr hpv positive cytology is came to negative but persist unadequate the referral or line uh, the line with uh, the 18 week pathway program standard so here the 99 percent will individual must be offered colposcopic appointment within the six week of the referral so the faster diagnosis of a standard is a new faster diagnostic standard they ensure that patient is our uh, referred to be investigation suspected cancer the finder in the, within the 24 this is the referral okay referral we have to be banned and how we can be referred do not uh, do to be the cancer diagnosis this is the nhs uh, uh, will reducing the standard uh, april in 2020 okay the standard for a cervical screening program we have consolidation of a cervical screening program standard are uh, the state of a Maya, the providing that must meet the ensure the local screening uh, services and the safe and effective here the data reporting against to the standard and the future reporting and uh, support 
So the cervical screening reporting is a very important. Uh, we will go to be the process and the providing further evidence, nature observation change of the cervical corpuscopy, uh, corpuscopicities uh, and accessing individual cervical screening that is result. So free text comment can be here the HP, HRHPV, the testing result, they said to be and the test will available use within the cervical screening program. So here the number of the HRHPV the test available in the UK and cervical screening program perform as a uh, assessing and establishing by the detailed program. So if the unadequate uh, sample patient with the unadequate sample with the HRHPV test are uh, uh, unavailable or uh, the cytological unadequate the uh, a tiny screening episode can be pathway. So sample can be uh, repeat are in uh, no, not less than the three months so here the three month six week is very important okay cytology with the, if insufficient or unadequate so unadequate cytology 24 month repeat has been the expansion okay this is too much expansion okay the, and the referral uh, referral to be the colposcopy every two uh, conservative hpv uh, unavailable unadequate cytology okay and the combination or we can say the individual who's a referral followed by the two conservative hpv unavailable or unadequate cytology logical result are the referral to the two conservative screening test reporting either the HPV or the cytology unadequate have been the normal colposcopic examination or a committee for 12 months. So here, if the HPV testing is a negative 12 month, individual will refer, return to be the routine core recall, what we discussed before, and the colposcopic unadequate individual with the repeating colposcopic examination 12 month. So repeat colposcopy is a normal and HPV negative. So individual discharge, routine recall, and colposcopic abnormal, we will go again to nationalist program uh, for a... Uh, uh, we have what we have uh, read before, okay? So, uh, HRHPV negative result. If the patient with HRHPV is, um, negative result, this will uh, sample HRHPV classify the negative individual will um, will return to be uh, the routine recall, the test of the TOCO pathway, untreated CIN pathway, follow-up of the incomplete excise, uh, CGIN, uh, smile, cervical cancer, follow-up of the borderline change of the endocervical. So if the patient is HR, HPV positive, result came, or uh, negative oncology, the negative cytology will came, you have individual who is HR, HPV positive, receive the negative cytology report is a part of the routine uh, Prime, primary HPV screening should be go HPV testing repeat 12 month. So here the 12 month is a very important HPV testing repeat. If the negative in the 12 month, individual will go safety return to routine record. So we cannot let the patient leave. No. We have to be follow up the patient with the age and scenario. So become the HRHPV negative in the 12 months should be the safely written to routine record even the 24 hour, 24 month even to okay, one year. So this is the very important to management of um, uh, with the patient. So individual who is HRHPV positive and the non cervical glandular neoplasm and detecting that required the referral of the cytology in the follow-up of HRHPV results should be managed. The same as though are the HRHPV positive cytological negative results. So here the HPV uh, HRHPV positive result and abnormal cytology all individual who will go the HRHPV positive abnormal cytology must be referred to the colposcopy. This is a very important. Even the benign endometrial cell or cervical sampling benign uh, endometrial cell reporting that HRHPV the positive the individual individual age uh, they said to be the, um, the 45 or over the 45 manage is a recommended recommended the program by the based of the uh, cervical abnormality okay the abnormal uh, they said to abnormal cervical sample taken by the suspected um, uh, the cancer pathway referred to the individual and the examination appear for a cervix and the persist with a cervical cancer 
uh, okay the before the management we will look on this uh, these two table that are very important and very quickest uh, remember uh, to be understand for exam exam point of view so we have here the colposcopic is the examination okay the patient with the abnormal uh, abnormal colposcopic examination so we will uh, consider if the patient is a cin1 a biopsy with the colposcopic impression are uh, the CIN uh, more than CIN2 are CGIN. So this is the three uh, category we have to be managed according to this. Okay, if the CIN1 on a uh, biopsy are the colposcopic impression, the positive came. Okay, we have to be called, uh, recall the patient with the 12 month. Okay, so here the HR HPV negative. If the HR HPV negative, we have to be recall the patient 36 month. We don't forget. After the 12 month, we will go 36 uh, month. Okay, 12 month to 36 month. Two call two uh, will uh, will uh, we will go to more than the like um, uh, like 18 month like this. Okay, so here the 12 month will go to 36 month recall. 36 month. Okay, and if the HR uh, HPV is uh, positive, if the patient is HR HPV positive, patient will go. The cytology is a negative. Recall twelve month. If the cytology came negative, will will uh, cytology came negative. The patient recall for a month. Uh, twelve month recall. If HR HPV the negative, we have to be recall thirty six. If HR HPV positive, the patient will go cytological uh, um, uh, re. Uh, uh, the re-negative and the recall of the 36 month okay if the patient came to be the hr hpv uh, pos uh, the positive will go the cytology abnormal referred to the colposcopic examination this is the, the cin1 okay and the biopsy and the colposcopic impression will give so if the patient with you with the more than uh, are with a cin1 uh, cin2 so this is the more than our uh, CIN2. So here the treatment recall, uh, recall uh, in a six month treatment. We have to treat the patient first of all. Then we have to be recalled six month. So HR HPV negative, and if the HR HPV negative, we have to be called thirty six. If HR HPV positive, the cyto uh, cytology uh, negative and the unadequate and the abnormal referral colposcopic again will go examination. This is the more. Uh, CIN2 are the more than CIN2. So if the CGIN, okay, if the uh, the CGIN will be the treat the patient. First of all, we have to be the treat the patient. Then we have to be recall six months. Then the recall we have to be uh, do like HR HPV negative. We have to be go recall twelve month. 12 month if the negative then 36 month if the came positive we have to be go again hr hpv uh, the positive to be go as uh, the uh, cytological negative for the unadequate refer to the colposcopy and uh, normal and the colposcopic recall 12 month according to the patient uh, stage or uh, the condition uh, and, uh, and according to investigation okay if the patient will hr hpv positive Okay, we will go for a cytological negative, unadequate refer to colposcopic for recall 12 month and then positive will go again to cytological neg uh, negative and the patient will go unadequate referral or the cyto if cytological M positive or refer to the uh, colposcopy or the normal colposcopic or the uh, no uh, re-excision -ex or uh, complete 10 year follow up. We hear the follow up recommended in the uh, CGIN 10 year okay even the same if uh, after the HRHPV patient came to positive to you so what you will do you will go to cytology abnormal refer to the colposcopic and if the refer to the colposcopic are the no ex um, ex excision are complete uh, excision are the no excision according to the patient uh, um, uh, the condition so the hair will go complete 10 year follow up this is a very important uh, the table of uh, cost and point of view and second table of for a cervical screening colposcopic management recommendation how and why you will go to cervical uh, screening program for uh, colposcopic management so here the colposcopy is uh, unadequate or adequate unadequate mean the index of the hr hpv positive cytology uh, uh, low 
are uh, are a grading low grading repeat colposcopic 12 month and uh, an adequate uh, consider as a LLE um, uh, ETZ uh, the patient choice this is according to patient even scenario the here the treatment is uh, going to be after the colposcopic okay so if the index HR HPV is uh, came to you positive and the cytology is more than uh, at the high this is cytology is high or uh, the grade is uh, the higher so here or the borderline is endosomic direct will go um, the LLE TZ. This is the treatment option will go direct to be the we, we have to be the patient we have to be treated to be surgery here. So then we have the colposcopic examination is adequate if uh, no CIN on biopsy or uh, the biopsy or a colposcopic impression of a CIN then we will go to again two category one index uh, HR HPV positive cytology are the less than the grade okay we can call 36 month if they came to be the more than high grade and the borderline is endocervical here we will go to discussion at the patient with the MDT within the two month okay if if the patient is abnormal biopsy in the CIN1 and the colposcopic impression of a CIN on a biopsy the manage the patient according to abnormal and the colposcopic examination uh, will be managed according to this one we have to be manage the patient So this the table we read it already so this is the management now we go to the management of the individual uh, with a symptom cervical screening program is population based on the screening uh, of um, the program that said to design the reducing incidence of the mortality form of a cervical cancer detecting the disease and the early stage and the development before to uh, the symptoms so here the individual will go the cervical cancer and the, especially the post bleeding and the passes with the vaginal discharge and they cannot be explained infection and cause uh, or not be the suitable for a skinny and here the common uh, they said to be these are the symptom has been excluded and the general pract uh, um, uh, the practice are uh, especially the infection of the contraception uh, usage so individual must be referred to the examination what we discussed before the table of a gynecological expertise and the management of the cervical disease and for a cancer to lead as a gynecologist here the gynecological referral is uh, individual with the sim uh, symptomatic colposcopic examination and the cervical screening okay suspected any case will go to be suspected to be assessed okay the uh, if the contact with the bleeding if the patient will came to the contact with the bleeding a cervical sampling maybe is not be indicated a referral or colposcopy but the absence of the symptom okay so evidence precising the predict, uh, predicted with the post quarter bleeding for a cervical cancer is a poor so here the majority of the cases the post quarter bleeding uh, is not to be malignant disease in the younger individual with the can be chlamydial infection and the program with the uh, uh, contraception are more likely to be can be caused this one. So referral guideline is the individual symptom appearance uh, surveys suspicious are individual who is referred to the colposcopy are the more than the two weeks referral 93 percent cases appear as a cervix is a suspicious or a symptom can as consist and uh, persist with a cervical cancer. So here the follow up and assessment is a very very important. So treatment follow up should be treated with a cervical intraepithelial CIN is a very important to uh, the cure and individual who is a CIN and uh, or uh, increase the risk with the developing of a cervical cancer and uh, uh, from the 2016-17 they discuss uh, with the um, and they give us uh, the best uh, follow-up uh, respective and uh, give to give us the excising the margin status of the cervical sampling so this is um, even uh, they say to cervical sample should be taken six months after the treatment this is in the follow-up okay so uh, the uh, following the the sample they said all individual are the negative HRH will be recall repeat cervical sample three year if all individual are a positive or HRH we must be referred to the colposcopy and uh, cy uh, cytological sample will be the process to help the inform 
uh, and farm to the colposcopy. Here, the follow up treatment of a cervical glandular intraepithelial neoplasm. So, CGIN, we, we, uh, so the, the CGIN will come to be the, uh, the positive intraepithelial. The, what we have to be do the here, the taste and the care. So, taste is a care individual who's uh, undergo to the excising CIA, uh, CGIN at the, the risk of the recurrence. And if the CGIN have been, uh, the completely excise the type of the excision and the subsequently re-excise and the, ta the taste of the cure so here the taste of the cure talk I mean taste of the cure is sample six months after the treatment so location follow-up and the talk colposcopic is a primary care should be uh, the side of the multidispensary treatment and the meat here the negative HRHPV second talk um, for taking uh, first they said to be here the multidispensary team six month we have the to take a sample then multidispensary team then we have to be the sample take 12 month after or 18 month after the treatment so if uh, after the negative hrhp individual discharge to routine every three years three years so here we have if six uh or the 12 month treatment of uh and the talk sample the positive for HRHP referral individual colposcopy. Okay, here the referral of the cytology sample proceed of the help to inform the colposcopy. Cytologic will go colposcopic. Here we have to be understand this uh, referral. Okay, if the individual fail with the uh, talk uh, six month only because the the positive HR um, HR HPV and uh, the test. So no abnormality detect of the colposcopic examination. Individual should have go second talk sample for twelve month later. So here we cannot leave the patient. We have to be go second after six failed to be assessed or diagnosed we have to be go the second talk for a 12 month so if the sample is negative for um hr hpv uh, discharge the patient and recall for a three year this is uh, uh first and then they, they said to further recall depending of uh, the taste and the age individual the positive cytology regarding 6 to 18 are the talk sample and individual referred to the colposcopic this is the very advanced stage when we are going to be managed as a surgical okay and no colposcopic abnormality prefer is a re-excise and not appropriate and individual refer follow up up to the 10 year this is annual hrhpv testing okay individual who having incomplete excise uh, cgin and the declining the airy excise should be follow-up of colposcopic clinic and uh, here the hrhpv performs six month treatment and resulting the negative in the six month 12 month and then uh, the annually uh, subsequent by nine years so all cgin case will discuss with the uh, with with uh, the the colposcopic Scopic uh, MGT. This is very important to uh, know. So now we have the diagnostic standard for colposcopy available in our uh, uh, in the, the guideline and they give a detail or there. So here the presence are absent cervix, whether the unadequate or what we discuss uh, this all. Uh, the zone cam is a transformation zone uh, type 1, type 2 or uh, the colposcopic impression lesion, lesion which grade and the colposcopic what is a lesion and uh, which type and the uh, colposcopic biopsies. So these all go uh, according to the scenario. So invasion of the disease cure the must be taken, uh, taken not to the outlook of invasion disease. Here the excise recommendation more than 95%. So when the most of the ectocervix is replaced with the high grade abnormality and the low grade colposcopic change associated with the high, the grade dyskeriosis and the severe are the worst. Okay, when the lesion is extended to endocervical canal and uh, sufficient to cervical tissue and should be excised from entire endocervical, uh, uh, cervical, uh, uh, endocervicals. Uh, lesions okay whether the cytology this is suggested to invasion of the disease and the glandular neoplasia here the situation is the mentioned above the uh, the pinch biopsy or not be considered to be reliable uh, informative so the colpo and uh, the colpo um, pest should be aware the small risk of unappropriate and un uh, uh, 
advent description in vision glandular lesion so here they said to be the most encounter by the high grade cytology are the colposcopic changing especially the cin3 so must be uh, the proceed and the reason and the pregnancy especially due, uh, delaying with the excision uh, the pregnancy the example give here uh, with the, the pregnant lady and the reason are not be performed biopsy are not recorded here so accuracy is on uh, uh, they discuss uh, discuss here detail and the colposcopic direction of the pinch pinch is unless ex, uh, ex, excessional treatment with the plan biopsy should be carried out when the cytology is a high grade and always recognize a typical transformation zone uh, with the present and for the occurring to them especially in the pregnancy uh, we can see in the chapter 4 management uh, the related uh, with the pregnancy contraception menopause hysterectomy and the HR PV negative cytological low grade and the cytological abnormality low grade dyscuriosis and the low grade um, negative colposcopic examination are not necessary to require for colposcopic okay here the unadequate biopsy all of the taken directed more than 90 percent uh, 90 percent will, will go to the best uh, uh, the suitable histological interpretation of colposcopic so reporting more than uh, uh, repeating should be the more than 95 percent okay so treatment of the cin especially they said indicated the treatment when deciding the treatment especially destruction of uh, uh, the method are uh, considered to acid and um, uh, associated with the cytological or colposcopic impression so uh, surgical treatment according to the biopsy and the gland and the age this all uh, cytology biopsy will going to be give us to according to management we will go so here we have a local um, ablative technique and uh, this will be within the three uh, three months have been ablative treatment like a cryocatry which we have to be uh, the karyocatry we have to be do should on low grade CIN and the freeze uh, the freeze to freeze uh, technique must be excise the removal of a specimen 80% at least to be go the specimen removal of the single uh, sample and uh, especially removing of the transformation zone of the multiple fragment uh, and uh, that will going to be difficult encountered at the histopathological those are the we cannot be like a micro invasive uh, disease especially this uh, will going to be allocated and the sub stage of the um, defined as uh, uh, the completeness of the ex excise excision of a fragment and the excisional specimen we have to be go by ex, uh, ex, uh, excisation okay here the histo histology report uh, should be uh, record and the specimen should be restricted regarding to in uh, the intra epithelial and invasive disease especially depth yes the goal of the depth removal of the abnormal epithelium and, and according with uh, transformation zone especially so here we have the type uh, 3 type 1 type 2 and type 3 type 3 type 1 will be a uh, transformation zone for uh, treating the um, the ectocervical uh, lesion that excise the technique within the removal of uh, more than seven millimeter that will be 95 percent and the removal less than the 10 millimeter individual is a reproductive age less than the 10 in the reproductive age type 2 cervical transformation zone excise the technique should be tissue taken depth from 10 to 25 millimeter more than 95 cases and here we will go as a sub uh, squamocolumnar junction within the endocervical canal type 3 will be go cervical transformation zone excising technique uh, tissue will uh, 15 to 25 milli, uh, millimeter in the more than uh, 95 cases and is going to depend on the position of uh, squamocolumnar junction where it is going to be uh, go so even the treatment of the policy we had uh, to be how this is a very detailed they give here uh, for a management point of view so management uh, if if the patient with you with a glandular abnormality cervical glandular 
Inter epithelia, la cervical screening will go HRHPV, then protect with the presence of the cervical glandular and any point abnormality. So we have to be report the glandular abnormality and the own psychology as a return farm, and we have to be managed according to be follow up what we are discussed before this all uh, farm. If patient with the suffering with the find as a glandular neoplasm in the endocervical type. So here refer patient on uh, gynecologist for the investigation. 93 will be that within the two week referral very important glandular neoplasm non cervical referral gynecological investigation 93 percent should be within the two weeks okay so rule of uh, the corposcopic uh, scopically and the direct with the pinch biopsy here the management with the important for a uh, pinch biopsy of the management of the glandular neoplasm and the borderline changing of the endocervical sample okay so pinch biopsy management glandular neoplasm borderline changing endocervical uh, sample are not appropriate so investigation by cgin same we just uh, read before discuss before the same pathway you will go again so endometrial uh, biopsy even the sample is indicated individual with the colposcopic glandular neoplasm and further this uh, detail this one. if the patient with the cytology report glandular neoplasm and endocervical uh, cgin okay here they said to be uh, cervical and uh, we have the extension of uh, cervical excision and uh, will be uh, uh, told with uh, each case and younger especially individual who uh, to be uh, conserve their fertility this is a big issue for uh, the age with the age okay fertility is a big issue so corpus co uh, specialist should be visible as chymocalminar junction and uh, cylindrical the shape of uh, cervical excision biopsy individual who is uh, transformation zone at least the 10 millimeter and to cervical above and the SGC uh, appropriate and the older age like 50 year SCG is not visible uh, in uh, cytology so here the slender biopsy should be taken of um, 20 to 25 millimeter and the cervical canal and the CGIN discussed with the uh, with again to colposcopic MDD meeting so here the meeting again discussion we will go again the specifically we have a uh, stratified mucus producing intraepithelium cervix here sir, cervix here they said to the simply simply we have to be go hysterectomy cervical glandular neoplasm we have to be go where to direct the simple hysterectomy may be considered fertility is not required okay if the positive margin and adequate excision then treatment go as the follow cytology and according to the scenario follow up here the individual is go as a corpuscopic with the CIN early uh, early stage of the cervical and treating with will go as individual so here the treating uh, first they said to be follow up six months then we have to be in the follow the two to five time and more than the general population we can uh, treat it individually and uh, so far follow will be the six uh, six months we have the follow up here and then the population histopathological occurring failure are not exceed that will be the five percent the 12 month of the treatment is a need here so duration frequency follow-up is very important even the staging say in one two and three and uh, this will be invited by the six month at least uh, okay the six month is a very important of the uh, the treatment and then uh, colposcopic uh, the clinic and then we will go call recall to the the services next say a screening and we will go as uh, the policy was uh, going on for uh, follow-up screening policies okay so cervical sampling as um, uh, okay i will go management of the individual with uh, the early stage of the cervical cancer okay the patient with the invasive carcinoma and uh, with the nhs uh, program if the patient is followed by stage 1a okay here the the staging is uh, follow very important so the conservation leaving residual cervix and will uh, recommended follow up to uh, recommended is a leaving talk primary okay then hrpv sample six month then 12 month and then sampling for a next nine year this is what we read it according to this one this all stages will go follow okay it means um, i read it this one they mostly they uh, they interested to be uh, go as a follow-up uh, after the diagnostic point of view and then follow up 
and if the investigation can positive the treatment then again follow up is a very important i think so for us is a, the good to be go the follow the stables well very nice so so what the men uh, make updated in the february 2020 uh, 20 management so management of the related of the primary menopause and the contraceptive and the hysterectomies so pregnant individual if the patient came to you is a uh, pregnant individual cervical screening during the pregnancy individual has been the call routine screening okay are pregnant should be test different and individual refer to abnormal screening and the test should be colposcopic at least in uh, the early second stay uh, second trimester and there is the clinical uh, contraindication will come out okay so previously the colposcopy was abnormal in the uh, interim of um, the individual become is a pregnant and then the colposcopic should not be delayed. okay here the preg uh, pregnant individual require for col uh, colposcopy okay screening sample after the treatment follow up untreated cervical intraepithelial cin1 assist the maybe delay until after the delivery so and the colpo uh, post may be wish to be performed colposcopy only the follow up so appointment scheduled during the pregnancy if the repeat screening due to the individual pal colposcopic during the pregnancy can be considered so colposcopic during the pregnancy individual meet the criteria colposcopic and examination and the clinic uh, if they are pregnant in the primary and the colpo uh, scopic examination they said to be invasion of the disease differ the biopsy treatment and the individual with the uh, deliveries so here the ex uh, we have to be go as a late second trimester especially the clean the clinician discretion if the excision of a, a for a, a diagnostic purpose the clinically indicated feasible for a accepted individual and um, the individual who have a colposcopic high grade disease concerning about the cancer so the treatment if early pregnancy should can uh, the postpone as a the postpartum colposcopic okay colposcopic especially the follow up of the pregnancy uh, according to grading even um, the we have to be cin1 a colposcopic evaluation in the pregnancy first of all the high grade uh, high grade uh, will experience the abnormal cytology can come and uh, we have to be here look for abnormal screening test and the suspicious uh, the looking of a cervix we have to be uh, the appearance is a very important if the cin1 uh, and the less than suspected individual should be managed uh, by the screening uh, algorithm what we have before okay cin2 or cin1 three is a suspected uh, repeat the cytology and repeat the cytology and the second trimester especially and the hair the advance beyond to uh, the three month follow up of the after the delivery in invasion of the disease with suspected clinical uh, colposcopic or the bio uh, the biopsies is adequate make the diagnosis for a essential and this is uh, publishing in, in uh, 13 and 17 even uh, so so the uses of the contraception especially the individual is uh, abnormal cervical screening resulting the patient uh, have abnormal cervical screening with uh, with is not uh, the bad invasion of a change of the oral contraceptive and um, uh, successful the method of the contraception for them in abnormal result uh, Uh, should not be influence of a choice of the choice of the contraception to individual with the intrauterine system ius if the patient with the ius here uh, they said to be uh, ius not remove remove or not both uh, so here the policy this remove or both if if ius we are removing or not so this is the need on um, the use of the alternative method of the contraception and the schedule by far a treatment and uh, considered with a half first half of the menstrual cycle necessary to the ius and the perform as a local treatment and the evidence of the ius and the effect of the hr hpv persist in the on a, uh, the pro progression so here need to remove ius inform the individual prior to the treatment to give the appropriate advice about uh the contraception use another method can be okay so if the patient is uh, like condom or um, 
uh, promoting his HR uh, HPV clearance or the CIN regression and uh, and a conservative management uh, depended on the consist of the useful of at least three months. This is the one. Okay, another uh, contraception method and with the, the uh, to be the rule out. Okay, if the are menopause and the use of the hormone like HRT and the post post menopause individual with incidence of the HR HPV positive abnormal cytology and the low and uh, post menopausal individual who have uh, the previously normal result. Here the systematic HRT is not known. Alter the risk of the cervical cancer, but colposcopic examination uh, um, the adequacy and improving the useful of HR, HRT, especially in the postmenopausal bleeding. Okay, hysterectomy individual is going to be undergo the hysterectomy, hysterectomic uh, for a reason other cervical other cervical cancer. So all of us cervical screening each the the range and we're going to hysterectomy for a gynecological reason and the diagnosis of the cervical cancer should be negative so here the routine cervical screening interval otherwise uh, uh, the sample should be uh, are taking as a part of their uh, pre uh, pre-operative investigation and uh, here the especially the individual begin to consider for hysterectomy so our patient as I begin to consider the hysterectomy who have an abnormality especially and the symptom attributed to cervical cancer and having a diagnostic a corposcopic okay appropriate uh, appropriacy of the bi uh, biopsy especially so hysterectomy treatment uh, for uh, histological work of the C CIN and the hysterectomy can be recommended and uh, the treatment of the histological provoke, provoke of a CIN and uh, can be coexist for a treatment of the uh, appropriately the treatment of the hysterectomy condition can be uh, coexist okay so hysterectomic treatment of the pre uh, the persist abnormality endocervical cytology so can be go mopping vagina abnormality the patient with the cin abnormality and the the vaginal uh, uh, the, map, uh, the mapped by the corposcopic and the lugal iodine and the time of surgery ensure the uh, sure that any coexist vin other recognize excise excise of the time of uh, hysterectomy even uh, correlation of the histological uh, cytology and um, this especially the the histological uh, resection uh, resected by the uterus and the corrected period to the cervical uh, uh, cervical cytology is a part of the quality of the assurance of the process so follow up after the hysterectomy yes follow up advice is the outline was before okay so management immunization individual will go to definition of the immunocompromise so immunocompromised patient will going to be screening yes this is the we have the guidance of uh, individualized and uh, they said to management of the immunocom uh, immunosuppressive in the individual will go uh, renal failure and um, the patient is uh, renal failure especially and then they said to be the need to be the organ transplantation especially and the cervical screening sample diagnosis and um, the depth of the screening and abnormality can be referred as uh, the toco uh, uh, to colposcopic uh, a pathway and according so all individual is eligible for the screening and uh, in our uh, the organ transplantation and uh, should go for a screening program okay so even the uh, and the patient is a coexist for cin uh, stages or any management according to this one okay this is a big big issue to be discussed with the patient okay Okay, the immunize we have even separately uh, guidance. Okay, individual with has been the exposed uh, to be diethylestradiol. So, daughter individual exposed DES or increase the risk of the clear carcinoma. This is uh, even question point of view very important. Cervix and the vagina, uh, but not uh, the form of the cervical uh, the cervical cancer. So, there is an estimation one month case in a per year in England and the routine call recall appropriate and the local arrangement may be follow up for uh, DAC okay and this is even uh, 
to be just known of okay hiv it is um a uh, cervical cancer and performed by conjugation with uh, the medical uh, the treatmenting even the um, uh, hiv infection so here the annual screening should be performed the initial colposcopic reassurance permit, subsequent cervical screening abnormality, and follow national guideline. This is the all of uh, uh, for this discussion. Okay, this is I finish my guideline. I hope you like. If you like and you have some benefit and you want to be, I will continue. So subscribe and like my channel. Thank you.